I ain't gonna lie to you folks, Clay has been making some whack decisions with this update lately, and that very much includes Hot Fix number 3 here with some of its most baffling changes yet. So before we do start, I ask all of you to take everything with a grain of salt, as I don't see much of this lasting long. Well, not much beyond this first bit that is. Some new Bright Shade Armor set bonuses are at play now, and one of them sees us dealing 10% more damage with all Bright Shade melee attacks. And yes, this includes the pickaxe and shovel mind. But hold up, beard. What I'm actually seeing here is more than a 10% increase. So what gives? Ah yes, Keen Eyes will notice that the set bonus also adds an additional 5 planar damage, aka a flat 5 damage, to each hit to boot, and that's pretty awesome. But the fun stops there, as we kinda need to unfortunately discuss this staff again and its new tweaks. After today, it only jumps between 5 targets and can only reach its original power of 7 targets with the full set equipped, which is about the dumbest thing ever. Furthermore, Clay even took away a neat synergy with Wigfrid, and I was literally about to showcase that today before this hot fix dropped, so that's an added bonus. But oh well, I digress. You snooze, you lose. So to continue then, let's mention how Grazers can now be countered via the Enlightened Crown or any piece of Bright Shade gear. They just simply won't be bothered as you can see. Be mindful though, if and when you do activate them, you won't be able to just switch one of these things on and off and be all fine and dandy. They will still attack you once they put you to sleep as you can see. The armors must be on before entering these rift set pieces, and oh yeah, these rift set pieces now trigger enlightenment in case you didn't notice. So have fun with that. Well, let's talk what happens once a rift does get going. Yes, deadly bright shade gestalts now properly target farm tiles if they just so happen to be nearby. However, the good news is that they're all easier to kill than ever. For you see, while they have been reverted back to 1,000 health total following hotfix number two, they no longer have as much defense as they once did. For example, here is me dealing 41 damage with just a plain old dark sword, no planar damage, and no set bonuses, when the exact same setup used to only give us 28 damage against these plants. Now this, this might actually stick around too now that I think about it, or at least I hope it does. But as a little bit of a side note here, bone armor now properly blocks planar damage as well, so don't be shy about using it against these plants anymore. Their deadliness is now completely negated after today. However, to truly wrap up our day comes one final, quite strange kick in the teeth. The Bright Shade Shovel. It's the original Bright Shade Shovel, only it now offers 250 uses for both shoveling and tilling functions. And yup, that's it. Nothing more. It's not any better than just a gold tool or two that we can make almost immediately. I truly, honestly cannot understand why Clay is so afraid to give these things cool mechanics, awesome synergies, and just straight up buffs. I know it's a beta, but it's been out for a while. What are we doing here? And by the way, don't get me wrong, I'm not just questioning the shoe Val there. I'm sure it will get something cool soon. But I also just have no idea how they made a terrible staff even worse in this exact same update if you catch my drift. But whatever the case may be, a couple other takeaways from today would be how bright shades no longer target walls, and how pre-existing worlds won't have to worry about killing the celestial champion again in order to kick all this nonsense off. Which is nice. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish it to all. I will be seeing you in the inevitable hotfix number four very soon, but I'll also see you in the next one regardless. Bye-bye.